Hi guys, it's Chef Kitty Cat, and today I'm going to show you how to install one of my favorite mods. It is the Too Many Items mod, and this mod basically adds like another inventory when you press a certain button, and you can get any item you want. As and as it says here, create and delete items in game. So I use this mod a bit, a lot, sorry, and I find it quite useful. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. And to install it, you're going to need to go to this to this forum page and I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go to it and once you're here you're gonna need to scroll down all the way to where it says download for Minecraft 1.2.5 and that is the version we are currently installing so it might change in the future and I might do another one but right now it's gonna be for Minecraft 1.2.5 oops and so we're gonna click on it and it's gonna take us to this AdFly website and don't click on anything here this is like ads as it says right here and we're gonna wait five seconds and click skip ad and the screen is gonna come up it might look a little different but we're gonna save it okay and save it wherever you want I'm gonna save it here so save it in your folder or on your desktop wherever you want and we don't need the internet anymore so you can just close that down and before you do any of this make sure Minecraft is closed so what we're gonna do now is see you're gonna click on your Windows your start thing and mine is a window symbol but but it could be different. So now what we're going to type in is percent app data. Percent a -P -P -D -A -D -A -T -A. Press enter. And this will bring you to your roaming folder. This is where your dot minecraft folder is located. So we're going to double click on that. And here, this is your minecraft folders. But we don't, we only need the bin folder. So double click on that. And this is our minecraft thingy folder and we're gonna need the minecraft.jar so to do this you're gonna need 7-zip or winrar and you can you, you can either, either double click on it or do right click open with winrar archive I like to do this so here is our dot minecraft folder and now we're gonna need our too many items folder so let's go find it and now we have this open in winrar as well Minimize that. So this is our too many items and this is our minecraft.jar. What we're going to need to do first is take our meta in file and our minecraft.jar and delete it. You need to do this in order for the mod to work. So delete that. Okay, we're all set now. So what you want to do in, in your too many item folder, you're going to want to highlight every single file except for the top one and you're going to click and drag it into the white space so it moves into your minecraft.jar folder. And that is how to install it. So make sure you have your meta in file deleted and you can close everything now. Just close that and you can open Minecraft. And you're going to log in. And yep, it's working perfectly fine. So let's just create a new world, new world, yep. Let's go in. Saving chunks, generating levels. Here we are. Oh, we're in a snow biome. So, now, when we press E, oh, it's chicken. Now when we press E, we're going to have this really, this, the screen. And this is a Too Many Items mod. So, congrats, you guys have installed it. And next, I'm going to show you how to properly use this mod. So, see you then. Okay, good job guys on installing the Too Many Items mod. You deserve a Minecraft high five. Woo, good job. But now I'm going to teach you guys how to use it properly. And there's a fern there. So when you, when you press E, your inventory comes up. And this is the Too Many Items mod. And there are different sections. Well, I like to do sections. This is section 1 over here. This is section 2. And this is section 3 right here. So let's start with section 1, which is the little buttons up here. So, this is the first button. It is delete mode. So if you click on it, the button will turn green. And you can delete anything in your inventory. So you just click on something and it just deletes. Gone. Magic. And if you uncheck it, you cannot delete anything anymore. And I have nothing to delete anyway. <laughs> so the second button is if you want to change to creative mode or survival. So if you click on it, you, I'm in creative now and I can fly. Well, that looks pretty cool. So I can fly now. I'm on creative. Ooh. But if I uncheck the box, I am on survival, and if I hop off the cliff here, I will take damage. So that is how that button works. Yeah, stupid dirt block. 
And the, the third one is rain or snow. So we're in a snow biome, so it's going to snow. So you can to yeah. So you can check or uncheck that button to make it rain, button to make it rain or not rain. So if I uncheck it, it's going to stop snowing. Pretty cool stuff. So the le the four buttons here are time buttons. You can set the time. So this button sets time to sunrise. And there goes the sun. And the second button sets time to noon. Lunchtime. Where's the, where's the chicken? There's a chicken here. He ran away. Wow. And now we have the third button is set time to sunset. So now the sun is setting. Ooh. And the last button is set time to midnight. And it is midnight and I am tired. Why am I wake up? <gasps> oh. So let's set it back to sunrise. There you go. I'm all rested up. So that is how those four buttons work. And the last one is difficulty. So you can change the difficulty without having to open escape and press options and change it from there. So if we just want to change our difficulty, we can change from normal, hard, or peaceful. Or easy as well. So easy, normal, hard, peaceful. So we're going to go peaceful for now. Or easy, whatever. Good job, guys. We learned section one. Now we're going to move on to section two. Section 2 is basically you can save stuff in your inventory. It's not your world save, it's not level save, it's not any other save, it's the saves in your inventory right here. So if we have a bunch of stuff that we want to keep, or we have in our inventory, but then, so we want to keep this in case something happens. We're going to click save one and it's going to save that. Let's say, oh, we died, we lost all our stuff, we respawned and we want it back. If we click on load one, that's where we saved it it will come back to us. So that is pretty useful and we can do that. So you just keep clicking it and it can come back to you. Which is pretty awesome. So, but if you don't want that save anymore, say, oh, I want a new save or whatever. If I, I don't want the save anymore, just click on the little X right here and it will gone. So it will go. So if we click on it now, it will save it again. And you can save up to seven save inventories in a time. So, and that is section two. Good job, we learned section two. Now we're gonna move on to section three. Section three is the gist of the too many items mod, and in here you can get any items you want. So if there is an item I want, say I want well, first of all, there are four pages of items. So this is one, two, three, four. There are four pages of items and you can get a lot of stuff. So say I want some lava. I left click, I get sixty four of it. And I want some sponge too. Or I want some cobblestone and some flowers. I can get those by just by left clicking. So there's some lava. And there's this, my sponge that I got too. And then I have my cobblestone steps that I also got from too many items. And I have a flower that I will plant right there. There you go. I made this using all my items. So these so if you want an item from here, you can scroll the pages. You can left click and you get 64 of that item. So I'll say I want a potion of instant harm. I would suggest that one. I, w I want instant health. Yeah. So you can do that with anything here. You can do whatever. You can left click and you will get 64 of that item. So let's use the delete thing and delete everything in our, thi in our inventory. So now say we don't want 64 of an item. We only want one item or one of it. Instead of getting 64 stone, we only want one stone. To do that, you go into the same or any item and you right click it. So you get one of it and it will stack if you do it more than one. So if we do magenta wool and want two of it, we can it'll put two. But basically left click gets you 64 and right click gets you one of it. So if I want 64 iron ore, I'm going to left click if I want one of it, I'm going to right click. So that is how to use section three, basically. It is just you can take your item and plop it down and do whatever you let's make some, let's make some iron bars around her. You can do whatever you want with it. So that is section three. And that is the entire too many items mod. So we have section one with all the buttons. You can change stuff. We have section two, where you can save your inventory, up to seven saves. 
and you have section 3 where you get all your items from. So, I hope you enjoyed this mod tutorial review thing, and I hope you go out and install this mod because it can be quite useful to you, especially in from creative to survival. I'm going to go fly now. Let's go ice fishing. So, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. There's a chicken! Wait, I want to make it lunchtime. Haha, -ha, lunchtime. Yum. Oh, wait. Yum. So, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and how to install too many items mod. And I hope you go out and do that. And this helped you. If it did, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you want me to do a certain mod, I will be happy to, as I like doing mods. It's fun. Ooh, more lunch. So, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Chef Kitty Cat is out, and... Let me, wait, let me get my chicken. Yum, I'll see you guys later.